Hello everyone! Today we will manufacture a small rack. Okay, there's another case on the screen, but don't worry. It should be 8 rack units high. And uh, we also choose a company, Radio 777, so we take that. Okay, this is our second button after we entered the name of the case. And then we can say, okay, um, we take the internal time calculation or we take whatever we like, let's say 40 minutes for the track, we know it's going very quickly and then we choose the rack type. This is all we have to do. The old case disappears and then <coughs> we go further and choose the basic materials. So what we do here is we take this wood we take, see how it nicely scrolls, very smooth. We take both extrusions for the lid, for the frame, and the angle extrusion. With these numbers here and see signs, you see we have different radius here. And this is 2, 3, and 5 for different case types. Okay, 30 by 30 millimeter extrusion. Next step will be find out what brackets would we like. Say okay, this is a very nice model. And the next thing is I take 1125. So you could type in a part of the string also, not just starting with a B and find the right part. Yeah, okay, we take this version of the bracket for the frame. Then corners is another theme. We have corners for the front lid and the back lid. We could take different models here, or we could lock the chain and say, okay, just press one of these two buttons and uh, find uh, the other one as a slave of the other um, lid. <coughs> okay, I take this one, see, both are the same. Done. Everything's correct, the program says very nice. So. Since this is a rack, there's a rack strip needed, which is this here, you see, with every different type, we have different width. This is 502, since I set on the automatic width calculation for racks. Okay, the rack strip should be here in front <coughs> and on the back side. And what we do is we take two different lids. So on the back side we say it's 75 instead of 55 in front. Okay, depth of the case will be say 410. And the high we said okay we want uh, eight rack units which we choose from this list, or we could type in here. Everything is done, and I press the calculation button. Immediately the price pops up here and the weight, the customer you see on top here, everything is there and there is our case. Eight rack units, wonderful. We can zoom this here. See, look at the measurements, is everything right? <coughs> look here, it's 599 millimeters, 529 here. This is everything we see here. And okay. Now the next thing we do is we put the fittings on it. We have many, many different butterfly catches here. I take this one, this is good. Since the rack is 6.5, we take this um, uh, butterfly here not very deep so it fits perfect in the case. Okay, you see with these buttons I turn around everything, put it again here, you see, very nice so, and put it in the center. Okay, how many handles do we want? <coughs> I would say we put a wheelboard underneath later. Um, this handle is very nice so I'm gonna show you another thing here which is this. 
instead of the lines, or maybe also together with the lines if you like, you can move the part around and look how far is it away from here. How can I position it? Actually, will it fit in here? See, this is all realistic. This is not about. This is exact measurement. See this here, 30 millimeters. This is 30 millimeters, and not, not something, you know. <coughs> okay, these position buttons allow us to position the whole thing. Okay, because also put two. Um, 80 should be very nice. This looks actually. Um, it's there's a bigger distance from here to here but we have different lids so we see we have a 7.5 millimeter uh, 75 millimeter lid here and uh, the other one here but the handle actually should be in the center if you want another solution put it somewhere you're free okay <coughs> so we place these um, fittings here okay let's do another thing I like playing around a little bit I take one, let's say this one, a very tiny plate here. I put it here, maybe in the back side, because the custom okay, up here could be whatever. Place it here, <coughs> and okay, we made this here. Uh, I will make a copy of all these fittings to the other side, which I do with this button up here. So, ask us, will you really? Would you really like to do that? Yes, I will. Okay, and then finished. The whole case is calculated. There's a new weight here, new price. And then finally, I would say, let's um, put a wheel board underneath it. I do it like this. Okay, these are standard wheel boards, and this is wheel boards fit in the corner, whatever. So, we have many, many different types of wheel boards. We have this type and this type. We also have plates we could manufacture, and put it, put them under the case. I take this <coughs> shape, which um, is perfect. They have cutouts for the corners. And then again, one click and the whole set of wheels is under the flight case, you see. I go a little bit closer, you see. This is really a nice thing. Our flight case is fi fi finished, so I'm going to show you a little few, a few things. You saw this here. You can also make some decorations. <coughs> I say, okay, my customer, maybe I want to show him it looks from another view. You see this here. Okay, you can also take other grounds or switch them off or whatever you want. There are really many possibilities, and you will find out. And it's always fun. So, see, I turn this around a bit. I could also put it on another position, switch this off to see the whole flight case you see, turn it around, put it on top, whatever, make pictures of the case with this button, there's a small photo here, which says, okay, double door, eight reckonets, click, done. So we have a picture of that to use it in uh, different documents, uh, <coughs> offers for customers, also in our production sheets, whatever you see different lids here um, and I hope you enjoyed the video I will show you the all the calculation stuff which is up here and the lists and everything how you offer case in the next video and thank you for listening to my and watching my video bye